subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hello, I'm Miles. How did I prepare for the Salesforce admin exam? Well, really, I just kind of I gained experience in the platform. I tried to go the route of using Focus on Force and, you know, doing practice exams and going through study guides and then, you know, doing practice exams again and again and again until I passed. And, you know, I did that with the admin exam and that never worked for me. Um, and then I just decided to try to learn the platform and gain experience on Trailhead and I did an internship. And then I took the exam after I'd been kind of working on a platform for actually about a year and a half. And then I took the admin exam and then I passed. So really how I prepared for the admin exam was I practice on the platform. How difficult is the admin exam? Uh, the admin exam, I, I don't think it was that difficult. Um, assuming that you have experiential knowledge of the platform. I mean, if, if you've been working on the platform for, you know, a month or two, maybe it's not the time to pass. But if you've been working on the platform for six months to a year, I, I think you might be in a good position to take and pass the exam. Is the Salesforce administrator exam worth it? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's definitely worth it. Uh, I mean, the cost of the exam the first time in the US is $200 US. The sec retakes are $100 US. And then you're talking about time. So yeah, I mean, I think, I think, and you can, you can look on Indeed, you can look on LinkedIn, and you can see for yourself whether there are jobs for people with an admin certification. And I think you'll find the answer is, is yeah, it does open up job opportunities. So it seems like a pretty good deal to me. Uh, I mean, that's kind of a difficult question. I would look at LinkedIn and Indeed and see what's out there. I mean, a lot of Salesforce roles are going to require a bit of experience. Maybe they'll require both PD1 and admin. Maybe, maybe not. Um, but I think that there are junior administrator roles. I think you would just have to look at, look and see for yourself. I would say gain experience on the platform. I, I, I mean, something I've heard a lot that, that didn't work for me is do focus on force, do focus on force, do focus on force. And focus on force is fine. Get the study guides, read through it, take a couple practice exams. but. But I think, honestly, if that's the bulk of your time studying, I think you might be selling yourself short. Um, I think really what's valuable is being able to solve, plat solve problems on the platform and having a nuanced understanding of how to implement something on the platform. That's really what's valuable. And I, I think being able to pass because you did that is probably a better way to go than just cramming a bunch of information from a study guide in your head and doing the exam that way. Uh, so thank you. I hope that was helpful. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel 